Hello and welcome to the weekly Kashmir University Video Digest Quest. In today's episode, we'll be showcasing the film Jewel in the Crown, produced by EMMRC University of Kashmir. The film showcases different establishments and achievements of University of Kashmir over the past years. On the banks of a lake radiating beauty and in the ambience of a shrine inspiring faith, there is a temple of knowledge we call the University of Kashmir. Established in 1948 at Lalmandi Srinagar as the Jammu and Kashmir University, the institution was shifted to Hazratbal in 1962, where it was inaugurated by the then Vice President of India, Dr. Radha Krishnan. In 1969, the same God bifurcated into the University of Jammu at Jammu and the University of Kashmir at Srinagar. What was inaugurated as a block seven decades back has today expanded into a republic of knowledge with a vast network of campuses. Our roots are here, but our branches have spread far and wide. Besides the main campus and Zakura campus in the vicinity of Hazratbal, we have satellite campuses in North Kashmir at Dalina Baramula and border district Kupwara. At Fadegad Anantanag in South Kashmir and also at Kargil and Leh in the Ladakh region. The university also has a network of colleges for undergraduate programs. Ranked 47 by the National Institutional Ranking Framework of the Ministry of Human Resource Development, the University of Kashmir is the only university of the state that figures in the top 50 universities of India. The four pillars on which our institution rests are teaching, learning, research and outreach. All the four have a common base that offers support, strength and smoothness. That base is good governance. To ensure an interdisciplinary approach and to soften the curricular borders, we have shifted from faculty system to school system with choice-based credit system in almost all the postgraduate and undergraduate programs. At present, 14 schools, 43 teaching departments and 13 research centers offer 66 postgraduate programs, 12 undergraduate programs, 47 PhD programs besides 18 diploma and certificate courses. Keeping pace with the changing times, 1,482 new courses were introduced and the syllabus revision was carried out in 78% programs in the light of UGC, AICTE, BCI guidelines. The average placement of outgoing students has gone up. The 
the last five years are packed with achievements. During this assessment period, many new programs were introduced that include AmTech in Embedded Systems and Solutions, AmTech in Computer Sciences, Masters in Disaster Management, Kashmir and South Asia Studies, Microbiology, Nanotechnology, Information Technology, Archaeology, Women's Studies, BSc Nursing and BWOC degree courses. With 225 classrooms equipped with modern gadgets, internet facility, user-friendly projectors, a hundred departmental labs furnished with the latest technology for cutting-edge experimentation and research, and 30 state-of-the-art seminar halls, auditoriums, and a majestic convocation hall, the university throbs with life. The huge edifice in the middle of the main campus is the central library called Allama Iqbal Library. It's a well-automated library system that includes 57 departmental libraries housing more than 7 lakh books. The library has reading halls, career corner, book bank and a 24-7 facility for students. The online resources subscribed by the library have gone from 4,500 to 9,500. The university has the distinction of being the only institution of the state with National Accreditation Board for Education and Training for the conduct of Environmental Impact Assessment and Environment Management Plan. Research is the lifeblood of our academics. In the past five years, the university has earned more than 200 extramurally funded research projects worth Rs 90 crores. Around 7,000 publications and nearly 18,000 citations appeared in globally acclaimed databases such as Scopus and Web of Science. The H index of the university in Scopus has gone up from 15 in the previous cycle to 47 at present. The university has also filed many patents. This was possible because of a platform the university established for supporting and incubating innovative technologies across Jammu and Kashmir. This effort has fetched the university 16 awards at national level. During the same assessment period, our students won 5 regional, 45 national and 5 international awards in various fields. The university awarded 471 PhD degrees and 21 teachers received international fellowships. Sharing knowledge and ideas at a global platform enriches the minds of our students and faculty. Our university has its footprints on the world map. For promotion of research, the University of Kashmir formally collaborates with international institutions. Indo-US, Indo-Canadian, Indo-German, Indo-Australian, Indo-Polish and Indo-French projects widen the canvas of learning. The university has been awarded the Center for Kashmir Himalayan Biodiversity by the UGC under its Center with Potential for Excellence in Particular Area Scheme. The Ministry of Science and Technology provided Rs 9 crore for the first ever ice core lab we have for the Himalayan Glacier Studies.
680 research scholars were supported through fellowships, scholarships, and research grants. The university provided consultancy services to public and private agencies, thereby generating sizable amount of revenue. We provide education through distance mode and have a full-fledged school of open learning. We marry technology with education and the bond grows stronger. Our digital packages like e-contents, e-tutorials, massive open online courses and a 24-7 Swayam Prabha DTA channel on life sciences attract more attention, more audience. The university upholds institutional values, professional ethics and gender justice. There is an internal complaint committee that takes care of gender-related issues. We have lady proctors and wardens to cater to the needs of girl students. Women have due representation at key administrative positions. Moreover, there is a separate transport facility for women. We have a student's online feedback system through which they assess the performance of their teachers. The probation clearance of newly recruited faculty is linked to this feedback. Organizing outreach programs by conducting community services through NSS won us a prestigious presidential award. A model school in the university campus prepares children for a challenge they have to face much later in their life. We have also a healthcare center in the campus besides a school of Yunani and Ayurvedic medicine catering to the health needs of university community and the society. The university's Directorate of Physical Education organizes sports activities throughout the year. It especially encourages women participation in sports. For health and fitness, the university has a gymnasium for men and women. To promote art and culture, the university has an institute of music and fine arts. <laughs> Through the Directorate of Lifelong Learning, the university empowers women, supports communities, teaches skills and provides facilities to help students learn new methods improving their employability. In tune with the challenges of a changing environment, we work on many fronts. We use renewable resources by harnessing solar energy, plant trees to retain the green, encourage e-governance to ensure smooth administration, improve examination and evaluation system, and run bicycles to reduce pollution on the campus. The university is not just education, it's also care. For specially able people, it provides some special facilities around the campus. University without diversity is a lamp without light. We organize colloquium lectures that diversify students' approach to learning and develop in them a good apprehension of intellectual concepts. A series titled Know the Nobel Laureates is our window to the world of ideas. No threadbare discussions, here the debate is fresh and lively. Our vision is to be a destination where a student realizes their dream. Our mission is to promote excellence. Our goal is to fill the dark of ignorance with the light of knowledge. The dark will go, the light will come.
that's all for today's episode. Log on to our website emmrckashmir.com where you can check the latest episode of The Quest. You can also watch it on our YouTube channel that is KU Television. Do send us your valuable suggestions at our email address that is quest at emmrckashmir.com. Before I take your leave, here are a few words of wisdom. I assess the power of a will by how much resistance, pain, torture it endures and knows how to turn to its advantage.